Hey everyone, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Nelly from the Tarot Services team, and today I'll take you through the causes as to why records may not appear in the drill hierarchy for your mobile users. In today's session, we are going to look at an introduction of what drill down hierarchy and mobile record assignment is. We shall go through four demos of records not found error and how to resolve them. We shall also look at some of the best practices that can help minimize the occurrence of this error. Later on, we are going to open the session for any questions or comments. Drill down, drill, drill down hierarchies allows your mobile users to view data at the lowest level that data can be set and select only the, only the record that your mobile users want to collect data on within a single job. We also have what we call the drill down hierarchy filters that further target the data that mobile users can use from Salesforce for a particular job. You can therefore set up main conditions in your drill down hierarchy and only the conditions that fulfill all conditions will be presented in the drill down hierarchy. Just to mention, there are a maximum of five drill down hierarchies in a single job and each drill down hierarchy has a maximum of five levels. On the other hand, mobile record assignment is the feature that controls or limits the records a mobile user has access to in order to shorten the same time and create a more efficient user experience. So uh, looking at the flow showing on your screen and depending on the uh, nature of your or the setup of your drill down hierarchy, if a mobile user selects a region, then that will drill down to the websites in that region. And if they select a website, it will then drill down to the website members in that website. I am therefore going to demo the four different causes of no records found error, which is related to these two features using a fictional company called Aquacomp. Aquacomp is a social enterprise that works in remote communities, builds wells in the communities to provide reliable water sources, and register community members to each well site. They also monitor to see the impact of the wilds to the communities. For our use case today, Aquacomp mobile users are in the field tracking well sites as well as registering new community members through Tarot's jobs. Let's then dive into our first demo. And this will be on mobile records not being assigned or missing the mobile record assignments. So, Today, one of our mobile users is going in the field and they're going to be registering a new community member. And so I'm going to use an emulator to just demo that. So today they are using, the mobile user is going to use uh, the first job that is register new website member. And so let's go ahead and see what's the experience of this user. So I'm going to click on that job. We want to, start a new job. Then we want to register a new member. And at this point, the mobile user realizes that there are no records assigned to him. Okay, so then the re first reason as to why this error may occur could be that the records you're expecting your mobile users to see are not assigned to that mobile user. So let's see this in our fictional company as mentioned. So let's confirm if this user is assigned any records. Coming here, you notice that there are no records assigned under this section for the mobile record assignment. What should we then do? We need to assign some records to this user for them to continue with their data collection. So I'll go ahead and add, add an object. And in this case, the object I want to add is the region object. So I'm going to select region and the field name I want to show is the region name. So I'm going to select that and then I'll click assign records. I'll click on display records so that you can view the records that I want to, I can select the records that I want to assign to this user. Let's say I want to assign Amber City West and Grass Town to this user. 
I'll then click assign records and then OK to confirm. Now, let's switch hats again and see if we synchronize that, we are going to be able to resolve this error. So coming back here, I'm going to leave this job. And then I'm going to sync so that we can get the updates of the changes we did. Let's give it a few seconds. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. Now, let's go ahead and uh, register this member and see if we still encounter the same issue. I'm going to click on the jobs icon. Then again, the same job. I'll start a new job. I want to register a member. And here we go. So I'm able now to see, as the mobile user, I'm able to see the records assigned to me. And so this user can now proceed with the data collection. Okay. So that's the first reason as to why this error may occur. And um, just allow me to do some changes for our next demo. Please. Thank you, Nelly. Um, as Nelly is making those changes, just a reminder that uh, you can post your questions in the chat and we'll be able to respond to those questions. Let me quickly change this, make some changes. Okay, let's now proceed to our next demo. And uh, this is going to be on starting drill down hierarchy at a different level as the mobile record assignment. Okay, so now another different mobile user proceeds to register uh, a website member using the same job. So let's go ahead and do this, then see what's the experience of this user. Okay, so I'm going to leave this. Allow me to quickly synchronize something. Okay, so Let's go ahead and register another member. So using the same job, first job, want to start a new job, we're registering a new website member. But again, this other user notices that there are no records found for them to proceed their data collection. So another reason as to why this issue may occur could be that your drill down hierarchy was started at a different level as the mobile record assignment. Okay, so um, for example, if we go back to our fictional company and just a moment, looking at the mobile record assignment here at this point you realize that the object selected is the website object. And then, let me just show you quickly. Sorry about that, it's an internet issue. Okay, let me just quickly mention that. So the object selected in the drill down hierarchy uh, is region objects, but when you come to the mobile record assignments is the website objects. So that's what we mean when we say 
starting the drill down hierarchy at a different level as the mobile record assignment. So then, if this is undefined, due to starting the drill down hierarchy at a lower level than the mobile record assignment, the system will select a path which may cause expected records not to display, just as we are seeing with our mobile user. Okay, so to resolve that issue, we need to ensure that our drill down hierarchy starts at the same level as the mobile record assignment. So if we had selected region object in the drill down hierarchy, we also need to select the same object in the mobile record assignment. So I'll quickly unassign this record. And then I will assign the region object just as selected in the drill down hierarchy. Let's give it seconds to load. So it's always the best practice to start your drill down hierarchy at the same level as your mobile record assignment. So what I'm going to do and see if we're going to be able to resolve this error, I'll add an object. And in this case, I again want to add region objects. And then here I want to add the region name as the field. I'll click assign records display the records, and this time I'll select these two. Then I'll click Assign and confirm that. Let's switch hearts again and see what's the mobile user experience. So again, I'm going to leave this so that we can synchronize. Remember, every time you make an update in Salesforce, you have to synchronize for your mobile user to get the update. So let's quickly synchronize this. Okay, so let's go again and register our member. Again on jobs, our first job, going to start a new job, register member. Just a moment, confirm if that, sorry, this was not successfully assigned. Let's reassign that. Region. And this is region name. Click on assign records. Display the records. Then we want to assign those two, for example. Then we're going to click, then OK. OK, let's first confirm if that was assigned successfully. Uh, as okay, just a few. So yes, now we can we can see that we have assigned our region record to that user. Let's go back. Let's sync again. Please synchronize that to get the changes or the updates. <clears throat> OK, now let's go ahead and register our member using the same job, first job, new job. And then we want to re register our member. And now here we go. So we are able to now see our the records as assigned to this mobile user. OK. So starting you will drill down hierarchy at a different level as your mobile record assignment is, a sec is another cause of this no records found error. Any questions so far, Darren? Before we proceed to our next demo. Thank you, Nelly. Yes, we have a question from Julio. And Julio is asking, how are the mobile record assignments uh, 
related to drill down hierarchy. So Julio, uh, mobile record assignments uh, send data, a set of uh, records to the Tarox mobile app so that the mobile user can, uh, can view these records and limits the data uh, or records a mobile user has access to. In order to uh, shorten the sick time uh, while they are in the field and to create more efficiency uh, for the user experience. Drill down hierarchy on the other hand allows the mobile user to view data that has been assigned to them uh, through the mobile record assignment and also determines how that data will be presented to them. Uh, for example, by applying filters, you're filtering out uh, certain set of records that you don't want uh, the mobile users to work on and also the drill down hierarchy will help uh, determine which data will be displayed on the mobile device um, yeah uh, will you let us know if uh, that answers your question thanks julio uh, Nelly, please proceed uh, julio confirms that his question is answered Okay, thank you for the question. Thank you, Darren. So we can proceed to a third cause of record not found error. And this is records filtered out using drill down hierarchy filters. Okay, so um, our third user, mobile user, proceeds to register uh, another community member using a different job, which is register a new community member. And so let's proceed and see if the user is going to be able to collect data successfully or they are going to encounter any issues in the field. So I'm going to click on register new community member job. And in our case, we want to start a new job. Again, we want to register a new member. But this user realizes that they're not able to proceed uh, past this point. So uh, when we go back to a fictional company, um let me quickly go back to that okay so the mobile record assignment has been done right uh the drill down it has been started at the same level as the drill down hierarchy uh, the object selected is okay but the user was able to uh encounter the no records found error so what could be the issue? Let's go to our job and view the filters. So, okay. So we realize that there are some filter sets by the Tarox admin or the backend user. And these filters are set such that this user should only collect data on Amber City East region, okay? But then the record assigned to this user, if we come here and try to edit, edit and see the records assigned to that user. So the records assigned to this user are only these two. And so this does not contain Amber City East. Hence, that could be the reason as to why we encountered the, that error as that mobile user. So let's go ahead and assign that Amber City East region to this user and see if that resolves the issue. Okay. I'm going to click assign records. I'm going to display the records. And then I will only add Amber City East as to our filter here and see if that will resolve the issue. So I'm going to click on assign records and I will confirm that. So then we realize that the third cause of the error could happen when you have applied a drill down hierarchy filter and there are no records that meet the specific filter criteria. Okay, so we've seen that in our case, we had filtered out this, but then we were not able to see that as a mobile user. Mm -hmm. Let's confirm that. Okay, let's switch out again and see if we synchronize, if we're going to get that right. I need to leave that. I will synchronize.
give it a few seconds it's done okay let's go ahead and see if the mobile user is going to encounter the same issue using the same job going to start a new job register member and yes we can now see the region or the records as as filtered out or as defined in our filter criteria and so our mobile user can proceed to collect the rest of the data okay so basically that's the third cause of that error and allow me again to quickly make some changes for a final demo Okay. Thank you, Nelly. And as you are making those changes, uh, we got a question from Babazi. What kind of permissions and access combination would I need to view records on drill down hierarchy? Um, Babazi, this is uh, covered next, I believe. Uh, Nelly will be going through that next. But uh, basically, you'll need uh, read access on the object level and field level for the data that uh, you'd like your mobile uh, users to to view. Uh, also, it's good to ensure that uh, uh, on that specific object, uh, the external access has been turned to uh, public read write. If it shouldn't have public read write, then uh, check that you have enabled uh, or set up some sharing rules uh, through the uh, org wide defaults uh, on your Salesforce site. However, uh, Nelly will be showcasing that in the demo shortly. Uh, back to you, Nelly. Thank you, Daryl, for answering that. Let me just confirm. Okay, so uh, let's dive into a final cause of the of the error: records not found. Okay, and so another user is now registering a new member. Sorry, now on this and. But the region objects is set to on the external external access is set to private. Okay, let's now see if this mobile user is going to be able to register members successfully. So still using our first job, let's go ahead and register a new member. So again, this user is not able to see records. Okay. So let's confirm if the mobile record assignment is done okay. We come here, checking on the mobile record assignments. This is okay. Let's confirm from our job if we quickly close this. Open the jobs tab. We want to confirm if the drill down error key, the object selected is the same as the one selecting the mobile record assignment. But yes, just as we had mentioned in our previous demo, the object selected in the drill down error key is region. And in the mobile record assignment, we can see it's region. But then the mobile user is still hitting uh, or encountering no records found error. So then, what do we need to, ch to check at this point? We need to go to the sharing settings and check if our region object is set to private or public, or if there is any sharing rule in that case. So here is our region objects. And so we realize that on the external access, it is set to private. This therefore means the mobile user will only have access to the records they own. And based on, on our security model, we can ensure that this mobile user has access to the desired record through either um, opening access to all users by setting this setting to public read rights or creating a sharing role. And if we set this as public read rights, this therefore means all the other users will be able to access the records, okay? If you do not want to open that access to all of your mobile users, 
you can only set a sharing rule on that object. So in our demo, let's set this to public read write and open access to all users. So I'm going to click that and I will save my changes. Give it a few to save. We can proceed. So then let's go back or switch hands again and see the mobile user experience here again. So leave the job and you want to synchronize to get our updates or our changes. So let's proceed and see if we're going to get this right. Uh, jobs again, we're using our first job still. Want to start a new job, registering a new website member. And now this mobile user can see the records assigned to them. Okay. So basically, these are the four causes of no records found error and how to resolve them. Okay, any questions so far, Darren? Before we proceed to our final okay. bit. Thank you, Nelly. Uh, we have a question from Arifol. Um, and Arifol is asking how many records can be assigned? So Arifol, uh, you can assign as many records as you would uh, like uh, uh, your users to, to be assigned. However, uh, we do recommend that you assign only those records that um, will be uh, if effective to the mobile user. Uh, so if you can have some measures in place to check which records you'd like to assign uh, to your mobile users, then that would be good. The reason uh, we suggest uh, having a limited number of records assigned to a mobile user is to improve on the same time. Otherwise, if you uh, um, assign your users many records, then the sync uh, will take longer. Please let us know if that answers your question. And uh, Nelly, we also have another question um, from Jimmy. And Jimmy is asking, what type of fields can display uh, for drill down hierarchy. Uh, Nelly, I'll pass this to you. Okay, thank you, Daryl. And thank you, Jimmy, for asking that. So you can display all types of fields in your drill down hierarchy, including text fields, number fields, formula fields, photos, and even location. I hope that answers you, Jimmy. Nelly, uh, Jimmy confirms that that answers his question. Are you full? Uh, please let us know if uh, our answer was sufficient for you. Good. About that, I just wanted to mention some of the best practices uh, when setting up drill down Eric and mobile record assignment in a Salesforce organization. And one of the best practices is always test a new job before assigning it to your mobile users. This will save time and uh, it will make the mobile user experience better. Another best practice is that always start your drill down hierarchies at the same object level as your mobile record assignment. When we were doing our demo, you realized that when we started our drill down hierarchy at the region level and then our mobile record at the website level, we en encountered the no records front error. And the third best practice is that always avoid assigning related records, that is both the parent and child records to a tablet mobile user, as this may cause the records you intend for your mobile users not to display. For example, if the region object is the parent and then the website is the child record, when you assign that region record in your mobile record assignments, there is no need at all to assign the websites Object, since it's a child of the uh, of the region object. And finally, um, always run a report to validate the drill down uh, filters, that drill down filters work as expected. Remember that we said 
Global hierarchy filters enable you to target the specific data that the mobile users need from Salesforce to perform a particular job. So it's always good to confirm that the filters you apply on the global hierarchy show the records you intend for your mobile users. Okay, I think I will pause at that and ask if there are any questions before we close the session. Thank you. Awesome, thank you Nelly for taking us through the best practices. They are very important uh, to keep in mind and uh, in implementing uh, drill down hierarchies in the mobile record assignments. Uh, we wouldn't want to lock you out. If you have any questions, please um, ask them through and we'll try to answer them. So we have a question here. Let's see. Sorry, I forgot to ask. What if it's showing on the first drill down and not on the second object in the same drill down with the filters being fine? I believe that is from, from David. Uh, David, would you like to unmute uh, and just uh, ask to unmute you and then you can ask your question. Sure. Yeah. So my question is, uh, the same way you've had on your drill, on your word, the region and then the whole site. So if the region is showing up, they can click on the region and see the details. But when they go to the next drill down, the next uh, object in the same drill down, that's the website, it shows no record found. But uh, the filters are fine and the relationship between the two objects is not, uh, is a lookup, is not um, parent-child, master detail, true. So David, if I got you right, is uh, you've done a drill down on two objects. Uh, the first object has got filters and the filters are okay. The parameters passed in the filters are okay. And then you have a drill down on the second object um, and also the filters are okay. And between these objects, uh, we have a lookup relationship um, and, and not a master detail relationship, right? So it's uh, the same drill down, the same way you had yours, the same drill down, one drill down, two objects. The relationship between the two objects is a lookup. So the same way you had like a region and all sites. So it's just one drill down, right? So the region, the user can see the region, they can click on the on the record and they can see it. But on going to the next step, that's the old site, they can't see anything showing no records found. Okay. So in that case, you may want to check uh, the external access uh, for that uh, second object that is under the drill down. I uh, check if it is private and uh, if it is private then uh, add some sharing rules to it so that you can give access to uh, the records that you'd like to share with the uh, mobile users. Does um, external access work if I'm the owner of the record? I should, uh, do, do I need to do a sharing rule if I'm the owner of the record even if I'm um, um, I want to access the record from a community page. So if you are the owner of the record, uh, then uh, you'll, the, the external access uh, will not be mandatory uh, because you are the owner of the record. So that should be uh, okay. The record should, uh, should appear for you. Yeah, because that, that, is, that is the case. So it means it's, uh, it's not dependent on the um, external case. It might just be something to do with like the the relationship between the two objects because while one record from the first object is being seen, but going to the next record you can't see anything. Yeah. So in cases where the, the, there are two objects and they are related and uh, you you encounter um, 
you make sure that the filters are okay and you, you still can see the records on the second object. In that case, it's usually a master detail and you may find that the permissions of the master object is controlling uh, the visibility or the access on the second object. But in this case, uh, you're saying that it's a lookup and in lookups, uh, the permissions on the master object will not uh, have an impact on the sharing settings of the other object or the related object. So um, you will just uh, check the filters once more um, and also the external access for the users who don't have access to those records and make sure that they align properly. Um, we do not recommend uh, doing a record, uh, mobile record assignment on both objects uh, if they've already been done at a object that is a uh, higher level uh, and at the level where the mobile record assignment and drill down hierarchy are both starting. Uh, David, hope that's okay. Yeah. Thanks, David. Let's see if we have further questions. And David, if you still have any uh, questions on that, you can always raise a ticket with us and we'll be able to uh, respond to you through the ticket. Let's just check through some questions here. Dear Kite, I think you had a question. I'm trying to see if I can view it. Uh, my question is where to find the record if they... Okay, sorry, Dear Kite. I, um, the recording will be available on our social networks, um, on our website, uh, on our YouTube channel. Uh, so you can always uh, make reference especially through the YouTube channel, you can get uh, this recording from there. If there are no more questions, uh, that brings us to the end of our Tarawak's feature deep dive on records not appearing in the drill down hierarchy. So thank you everyone for joining and uh, see you in our next Tarawak's feature deep dive.